Dalkey Eat Stuff with Brian Dalkey. Here we're. So, last day of the Veggie Burger Adventure, and what with the works, which normally I quite enjoy. So, we'll see how this goes. I uh, didn't do anything too fancy, just lettuce and cheese to kind of keep with what the other places have been like. Normally, works like to go all crazy on the toppings, but like consistency. And this went with them because they had the Impossible Burger, which is the other kind of mainstream like brand for veggie burgers. So we'll see how this is. Smells alright. Alright, there is a bit of a taste there. That you can definitely tell, wait a minute, this is something off, but I don't know if it's bad yet. But I will keep eating. And we'll see what I think at the end of the video. Uh, oh yeah, transition thing. Uh, Alright, so. I ate it, and I'm not too sure about that. There is a, definitely a bit of a taste to it. That you know that, okay, this isn't meat, this is something else. But it's not necessarily a bad taste. And it's not really overpowering. Like when I was eating it, I didn't really didn't really stand out. Uh, had good consistency, so that was good. But I don't. Know. I guess. I guess if you have like various toppings and whatnot on your burger, you're not really gonna notice it that much. And with the consistency, that will kind of trick things. It's like, oh, okay, this is this is a meat mat value. So. It's okay. Again, probably not something I would ever order again. But then I'm a vegetarian, so maybe that has some aspect to it. Uh, but definitely improvement of the first burger we had. So, yeah. Well, we... Well, you're all eating burgers with me. Anywho, <clears throat> that's that. Today is all put out. A very it'll be a very very short video of a ranking since there's only three places and it should be pretty clear which way I'm gonna go but till then hope uh, everyone rides out this storm we're apparently getting and we'll see you bye